All right, welcome back to another episode of Adventures with Jim Delfino. Today we're at CWI. This is the school I actually go to, and we're geocaching. Got a group of people here today. We're going to see what we can find here on campus. We're going to have a lot of fun. Hi, I'm Joey, and I'll be using the GPS in Jim's uh, geocaching experience at CWI. Hello, my name is JCD4, and I'll be walking around and finding up stuff and uh, videotaping. Hi, my name is Connor. I'm just here, and I'm going to be texting my lady friends. <laughs> Hi, my name's Kaylee. I'll, I'm going to be here helping out with whatever I can. So. <laughs> and this one's Whitney. All right, guys, let's have some fun. Is now. This is the Garmin e track It's an older model, but as you can see, we're actually picking up the satellites above us, waiting for these to find a good signal. Once we have our coordinates where we're at, then we can actually start looking for the um, the actual caches that are hid here on campus. So there are four of them that we're actually looking for today. We're going to see if we can locate them. We'll back to it in just a minute. The Quest has sent us to this post so far. It's showing that we're approximately 25 feet from this location is where it's hidden. We're having a hard time finding it. This is a micro one. It's going to be small um, and it's, it's well hidden, but it was found about a week ago. So we know it is here. I believe that we will find it. We were unable to find the one at this location. We spent 15 minutes or so looking for it. We're going to move on to our next one, see if we can find that. Maybe it will give us an idea of what we're actually looking for at this location. Depending on how we do with the other ones, will depend on whether or not we come back to this one. But let's head to the next one and see how we do. The crew seems to be gathering around this. Possible that this is where the next one will be. The young one has the device. She's trying to locate the actual place of it. Its name is broken. Looking down, I see that one of these road things is broken. Is it around here? We shall find out. One can hope. We come up with another bust. Um, that's two, two so far. Zero and two. We're gonna try the other two that we're looking for. Hopefully we can find at least one of them today so that it won't be a total loss. Unfortunately, sometimes when you're geocaching, you do not find the treasure. We'll continue our search. The next one, the clue that we have is postman. We're not sure what we're looking for yet. Maybe a mailbox. Uh, we're not sure. The first one was bridge. We found a bridge. Second one was broken. We found a broken. I'm assuming these are more than just find a marker type. You do encounter those every once in a while. Um, I'm hoping to find a cache, an actual something that's hidden that we can open up and see. Um, let's find the postman. Off we go, lead the way. Okay, the third one was a post box. Well, this is a post holder, like the ones that you can see that hold these posts up. The other one has the box in the center. Looking inside, I'm not seeing anything, but I did not bring a flashlight to look into there to see if there's a box. So what I'm wondering is, is this the kind of hunting that we're doing today where they're just wanting us to locate something? The first one, it said it was a bridge. We found the bridge. Second one said something broken. We found a broken parking thing. The third one was a post box. Here we have a post box. I'm not finding anything to sign uh, a log like normally would be on a geocache. This may just be a location thing. I've seen them in the past. We're going to move on to the next one. Uh, it, I believe, was made by somebody else, and it also said that it was a container. So we're going to hope for the fourth one being something that we can actually look at and celebrate. Okay. This one is going to be a little tricky. It did tell us on the website that we would have to go down an embankment. The key now is to locate where it is and retrieve it without getting wet. It looks like it's a fairly shallow stream of water just in case we do have a tumble but it's still kind of cold outside so let's hope that we can avoid that. The crew is in the hunt seeing if they can find 
the final one. Wish us luck. You can see that the feet are getting lower as we walk. We're down under 500 feet. It's going to be down here somewhere. Okay, we're within 80 feet. Continuing down, it goes back up, which means that it is somewhere down along this beach line. Online, it did say that we were going to have to go down. We have Connor down there right now. James is headed down. They're going to look for it. They're going to see if they can locate it. Um, hopefully, we can find the final one. So, okay. While I was up there, I remembered a clue of stumped. Here's a large stump, and I think I've located it. My guess, it's been hidden right here. And as we can see, here is the container. You never know where these are going to be. But yes, they can be found. We almost went the opposite direction looking for it. But welcome, geocachers. Connor, this is the first find that you've been on. Why don't you open it? Okay. Please do not remove. There is a notebook. A notebook that we will sign. Pencil. And a pencil. And there's more. Um, there's a. There's a. Come on, guys. Ribbon. Thing. There's this pin. Wait, let me see. A recycle bug. Another pin. A keychain. Triple A keychain. Pins, keychains. And These are items that people have left and a pencil over time. Holder. I keep a trading card in my wallet at all times just in case I feel like geocaching. The way the geocaching works is that you take an item out of the stash and you trade it for an item. And there's various items in here. They suggest that you trade something for an item of like value. I am going to take the little pencil thing because I could use that in school. I'm going to give it a card. The next person who finds this would have the option to take the card out. This I get to take home with me. The one thing we forgot today was to have everybody bring something. Um, they could have changed it out. Then the key is always to rehide this as good or better than when you found it. It was in a pretty good space. I'm going to go ahead and hide it. Watch me hide this. You want to put it in all the way. So that is in there. And then you want to cover it so that people just walking by who aren't actually hunting the cache would not know that it was there. And it would not be something that they would be messing with. The last thing you want is kids out on their own just going, ooh, I got some goodies, and destroying a cache. It takes all the fun out. But that is how you geocache. It's a great activity to do. It's a little bit of exercise walking around. Take your friends, take your family. You will enjoy it.